look at this. We got us a wanderer all the way out here in Wilms Wharf. But taint none of my beeswax what you're doing. We always need bullets. You want...
What the? Did I step in something? What the? Did I step in something?
Come on, let's get moving.
thought I heard something. Well now, if it isn't a little villain from the vault. What? You think you can walk around the wasteland doing the evil that you do and there isn't going to be someone who takes notice? And now it's time for you to die. Ha <laughs> ha! No. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Those monsters, they're, they're gonna get me. Those things, they're gonna get me too. Can't stop now. You won't leave me like all the other grown-ups. Why are you so mean? My papa is missing, and I think the ants may have gotten him. Oh. Can I get some help over here? Some kind of crazy person? No! I'm not talking to you anymore. You're when I was bad, my papa made me apologize three times. You want to talk to me about stuff? Say you're sorry three times. That's good. Keep going. Keep him coming. Papa said that's the right thing to do. Good. You did it. You will? Really? Thanks a whole lot. My house is the one closest to the huge sign and the old diner. Please. Find my papa and make him come back. You know, maybe this will help and maybe it won't. But papa hid a bunch of stuff behind the old diner and a dumpster. He trusted me with the key and said it was for emergencies. Hmm. You don't have to be such a jerk about it. There was an old porta shelter next to the diner by my house. And don't you dare leave me alone.
Who's out there? Scared. Scared. Like a little bitch. Just like a little bitch. Oh! 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 Hey, you a new asshole.
collar on his arm is too tight. Shut up, kid. Thank you. Look, I don't have anything to offer you except these supplies. You'd know best, wouldn't you?
Welcome to Rivet City. You... Are you serious? I, I can just have... I... My... Thank you. Hold it right there. State your business in Rivet City. And who might your father be? Oh yeah? And I'm a fairy princess. You keep up this smart-ass attitude, and you're gonna wind up floating face down in the river. All right, all right. Evening. You glorified test tube jockeys can assist me. You there. Are you by any chance for hire? This could be an opportunity of a lifetime for you. You'll be searching for an android. All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts. I'm talking about artificial persons. Isn't it quite clear? He must have done something drastic, like it will be no easy task. How quaint. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Excellent. Here, listen to this message he sent me. Of course you do. Uh hey there. Look, this is a restricted area. I'm I it's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. You're James's son, aren't you? Well, yes, of course I do, don't you? I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your father many years ago. You'll have to forgive me, this has all been very stressful. You have to understand that I... We put all of that behind us. You mean you haven't? For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault, James? I see. So you decided to leave one of the safest places in the Wasteland, even though it was in your best interest to stay. Well, I'm afraid your father is no longer here. Well, I don't know where he is. The lab Now will you kindly leave? I have work to do. It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, North- Please, don't go after him. It would- Good luck finding your father. Evening. They call me Shrapnel. What you looking for?
A pleasure doing business. Let me or a security officer know if you see any... Everything looks okay here. How the hell did you get in here? This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. I live here. You made it past my defenses, which proves you aren't a dummy. I suppose you can hang around if you want. The secret kind. Well, if you must know, I'm an electrician and computer expert. <laughs> And the guy that got Rivet City up and running in the first place. And after all that, Lee and her gang of flunkies pushed me out. Don't let your guard down.
evening. Everything looks okay here. Don't you have a component to do? Was there something else? Of course. You know what you need to do. Don't you have a component to deliver? They're all eating breakfast at Gary's. They'll still sell it. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I am back. I carry discriminating attire for discriminating customers. Between you and me, keeping out the riffraff is good for business. Come back soon. Closing time. Have a s Let me introduce myself. I am Gary Staley, gourmet chef and gourmand. I'll be preparing your meal. My specialty is Meyer Lurk cakes, although the iguana is very popular too. Uh, maybe you should sit in the corner. Here is our menu, sir. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. I do the repairs around here, so if you see something that needs fixing, let me know. Stay sharp. What are you talking about, boy? Fine, whatever. This android calls himself Harkness now. Comes in and wants a memory job. Don't believe anyone's done that before. I'm also the only one in the wasteland with the skill and the nerve to perform facial surgery. You want proof? I documented the whole thing. You're damn right she's a bitch. Ruined my whole goddamn life. But I can see you don't give a crap about any of that. Fine. It's all in my computer. Here's the password. Just don't go telling Harkness, though. Well, there is something else you could use. Look, I didn't really wipe his memories, okay? I just sort of filed them away, but... All you need to do is use the recall code. Just say to him, activate A321 recall code violet, and that will activate the hidden subroutines. Don't let your guard down.
Have you seen my good-for-nothing son, James? Have you seen my good-for-nothing son? I'm a little busy right now. What's that supposed to mean? Look, kid. I don't have time for existential debate. Are you out of your mind? I'm definitely not a robot. You have exactly five seconds to explain what it is you're trying to do here. All right, I'll humor you. But this is impossible. I can't be a robot, I'm a human being. I breathe, I eat. Hell, I cut myself shaving this morning. I was bleeding. Robots don't bleed. I'm not sure what to say. I'll admit, this is pretty convincing evidence. My God, I, I remember, I remember it all. You, you made me remember, why? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to shove him into a very small box and send him north where he belongs. Hmm, he is a security threat, isn't he? Don't think this gives you license to run around shooting anyone you want. Here, use my weapon. Carry on, then. The sooner you find my property, the sooner I can get out of this slum. Harkness, you say? And he's right here, in Rivet City? Thank you for your discreet assistance. And now for your payment. This combat module will directly affect your central nervous system. Hmm. Troublemaker. 